Today, we're going to be speaking about a midah, a character trait, laziness. This is through the Sefer of the King that he writes, Ha'atzluti midara ameod. Being lazy is midara ah, he writes. It's a very bad, it's a bad character trait. Why? Because, Mekukalim me'od ba'olam hazelum ba. Things could be messed up in his life if he's lazy. Because well, he's going to explain. He says, This is the Pashuk of Shlomo Amelech. Al Sadeh Ish Atzel Avarti. I went and I passed through a field of a lazy man. Val Kerem Adam Hased Lev. And a vineyard. Vene, he sees it. Kim Shonim. Kasufanav Harulim. Gedel Avanav and Herasa. He sees it. All types of thorns. All types of rocks that are destroyed. This is what Shlomo says. King Solomon says, Shlomo Melech says, he passed by a lazy man's field. And he saw, what was there? He saw thorns, rocks, this, that. It's not enough that this guy, this lazy man, doesn't grow. Wheat kernels doesn't grow stalks doesn't grow because chain of velta you're not working correctly. Ella megadel avdevarim geroin you are growing bad stuff. It's not like a lazy man. Oh, if he just doesn't do what he has to do, then oh, so he just doesn't proceed. He doesn't ex- excel. No, it go it goes backwards. If you have, for example, I'll give you the perfect example. If you own a house and you don't upkeep the house, I'll give you an example to that. You have a leak in the roof and you don't clean the roof. You're lazy. It's not that, oh, okay, fine, I still have a house and uh, okay, fine, there's a leak in the roof. No, it'll get worse and worse and worse and worse until you have no, until the person has no roof. And then he has no house and then he has nothing. A lazy man doesn't mean that you don't just excel. It's whatever you do have, heaven forbid, could get ruined. You understand? In anything in life, in anything in life, you have to improve in everything in life that you have. If a person is a learner and he's learning Torah and he wants to succeed in his learning, and he's lazy and he doesn't review what he learned, he learned the Gemara, he knows it well, but he waits three years, four years, five years, six years, eight years, ten years to review it, just know, it's not like he's going to, oh, one day pick No, you forgot it. Because you didn't maintain it. Why? Because you were lazy to maintain it. That's a problem. That's a problem. There's many things in life as well. A person has a business, just lets it go. You're not maintaining it. You're not seeing, you're overseeing it. The only thing, oh, it's not just excelling. No, it goes automatically ruined. It's going to get ruined. Uh, you're not maintaining it. Right? What do you expect? You understand what I'm saying? It's the same thing in everything in life. In everything in life. I'm just giving you two, three examples. And everything in life, that's what it is. He says, let's say you do produce your field. And you do producing, you're not lazy about it. But you didn't fix the wall that's surrounding it. You know what happens? What happens is that, yeah, animals are going to come and they're going to eat it. Yeah, but I, but, but I, but I fixed my, uh, I fixed my, all my grains and my crops. You're right, you did that. But at the end of the day, guess what? The fact that you did it, you didn't put a, a wall around it, that's your laziness caused that even though you weren't lazy in the aspect that you grew your crops, but you were lazy in not building the wall correctly, now what happens? It still gets ruined. Because that's what happens when you, a person, gets the, the, the character trait of laziness overcomes him. That's what happens. That's what happens. You do things here. Oh, you think you're building, building, building. Meanwhile, you, you forgot to, to take care of that. And because you didn't take care of that, everything got ruined because of this, that, that, that. Wudokach. He writes, He says the same thing with a person that's lazy in Torah mitzvot. Lazy people love Rest. They love to relax. Just don't make me move. Don't make me hustle. Don't make me run. I'm good. 
I'm good. Lazy people like to just relax. When we talk kach, I'm in kashut alahim. Because they love to relax, they feel that certain mitzvot are very hard for them because they're lazy. Go to Minyan. Go to Minyan. Go to Minyan. Now it's hard, it's two to three blocks away, it's raining, it's this, it's that. What do you mean? Go to Minyan. Since the guy loves to relax, he won't go. It's a cold day out. Oh, I'm not going to. Why? Because a person loves to relax. Now you want me to go in the freezing cold and go to the, to the minyan? It comes from the stem. One of the things is, because he's late. He does, he does, he does, come on. Come on. Come on. No, no, no. Go do it. He likes to be like, I'm not going to minyan. I'm just giving, again, as an example, and many others. But this is what he's saying over here. Right? Same goes with the Torah. Oh, to learn, learn, learn. The uh, shiur, tired. Can't go. I just came back from work. Can't go out. Go in the morning. No, it's too tired. It's cold out. I have my covers. It's freezing outside, or it's hot out. Whatever, whatever excuses in the book it stems from that. And even he says, even if the guy goes to shul, he finally comes to class, and he finally wants to learn, doesn't put effort in it. Why are you not putting effort in it? He loves to relax. We like to push. Good. Rabbi, at least I came to class, Rabbi. Oh, are you proud of me? Okay. Working all day, I still came. Great. But you want to get you want to get zest of life. You want to get the full action of life. This is what you want. This is what you gotta do. Alright? Next. It says over here. It says, Ukshem Shi Yoshim Bidaknez Yashani. Because when a person is lazy, it causes him to sleep, relax, sleep. He says also that, that he can mess up. Let's say, you have a, let's say you have a person that's learning, learning, learning. But he doesn't put his full effort in it. So he thinks he knows the halakha, and he doesn't know the halakha because he didn't put his full effort into, into knowing it. Right? Now he writes, He says, sometimes a person, he's so lazy, he knows, we open up the Gemara, a tosfot, a hard sugya, it might be difficult. So he makes excuses, oh, I have to do this mitzvah, I have to do that mitzvah, I have to do this mitzvah, I have to do that mitzvah. You don't even have to do it, but he has to do it because uh, he's lazy. He makes up excuses that in order to, to get away off of that. I would be told what I meant. It could be it's true. Right? Also, he says, even, even relaxing. He writes, even relaxing. You're right, you need, you need to relax for you to, to strengthen your body. You're right. But what? But that's a person that's so uh, busy and, and, and he was so involved and so energetic with all his, uh, his day, yeah, and Torah and the mitzvot, he did it all day long. So yeah, he, he, he needs to relax, of course we know that. But what? Don't get confused from laziness and, and, and need to take a, a, a break. Don't get confused with that, there's, there's, a, there's a fine line with that. You know yourself, if you need to take a break or you don't need to take a break, you know yourself, you can feel your body. It's an automatic built-in system in your body, you know. Is it coming from laziness or is it coming because you really need a break? You, you know, you can figure it out, right? They tell the lazy guy, Rabbi, the rabbi came to the city, go learn. What do you say? No, I'm scared, it might be, uh, you know, it's dangerous outside. You know what's going on over there outside? You don't know, maybe, maybe there's a, you know, maybe I heard there's a dog that's loose, uh, I'm not going. Hmm. Okay, <laughs> okay, when they say, oh, no, 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 don't worry, he's not, he's much closer, he's in the community, you don't have to walk out too far, there's no dogs out there, don't worry, go, he says, yeah, you're right, but maybe the dog's going to come inside, I don't know, but he's really talking about Ali, a lion, ah, he says, don't worry, he's, he's in your house, he's outside your house, he keeps on making excuses, oh, maybe this, maybe that, until finally, he makes every excuse in the book, and he says, ah, oh, I'm not going, I'm too lazy. <laughs> so you have to make a bet on it. You have to make a bet on it. You have to go strong on it. Right? 
He says, be careful, never send a lazy man to do a mission for you. Let's say you need to deliver products. Don't send a lazy guy. Why? The mission won't be done. He'll be lazy to complete the job. Yeah. So now what do you do to break it? What do you do to break it? Huh? You know what you do to break it? Little by little, little by little, little by little. You're not in the mood, do it anyway. 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 Little by little, 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 you'll break the habit of being lazy. You're tired? I'm going full force. I'm lazy. It's not really from time. I'm lazy. Let's go. The Mishnah says, "Hachetziniot ma'eret et mitoreret et apnimiot," which means the outside actions that you do will eventually get the inside working. So you're not in the mood to do something because you're lazy. Do it anyway and just, let's go, let's go, let's go. Push yourself a little bit. The, the outside will do it. It'll be told in that. And the more you go forward with it again and again and again and again and again, eventually the laziness will, will, uh, will break out. Like the Rambam says, it's like, you know, you ever go into a shower, you have hot water, you have cold water. What happens when you go on that? It's, all, it's freezing cold. What do you do when it's freezing cold? What do you do? You turn it where? Completely what? To the hot. But you don't just do you don't just do a little bit hot. You do all the way to the hot. And then once it gets to the hot, then you go move it to the middle. That's the Rambam's rule. Well, your person's lazy, go for a certain amount of time. Let's say 40 days. These 40 days, I'm making sure I'm not lazy in anything that I do. So you went to the extreme. Now you go, it'll automatically come back. That should be okay, you have to be careful. Because when you when you when you hustle, you have a much better life than a lazy man. Because you'll be able to accomplish more. You'll be able to accomplish more. This is a great lesson. Or, or break a laziness is a great lesson in life.